At Highway 61 Dry Cleaners, their staff is excited about the name change and they would like to thank all of their loyal customers over the past seven years. For a professional clean to keep you looking your best, it's Highway 61 Dry Cleaners in Makokoda. Whether you need your favorite suit, dress, leather items, pillow cleaned, or alterations done, Highway 61 Dry Cleaners can complete the job. Convenient drop-off locations now include the Classy Closet in Bellevue, the Family Tree in DeWitt, Anderson Pharmacy of Preston, and Holly Supermarket in Wyoming. Need a tux? Highway 61 Dry Cleaners now offers tuxedo rentals. Their professional staff can match your specific color needs while saving you several trips out of town. So for exceptional service and convenience, stop by and see them at Highway 61 Dry Cleaners, 108 South Jones Avenue in Makokoda, or call them at 563-652-3641.
Got a baseball or softball player at home? Then look to PC Sports to unlock their potential with individualized baseball and softball instructions with their personal instructors. Increase their bat speed and arm strength with proven enhancement programs. Contact PC Sports at 563-212-9685 for your player to be the best they can be. PC Sports is located at 1914 140th Street in Delmar, Iowa. The staff at PC Sports is always adding new programs and opportunities, so subscribe to their Facebook page to keep up with everything going on at PC Sports.
Smiles on Main, a distinguished dental care provider, conveniently located in Makokota, Iowa. At Smiles on Main, we have a special interest in your dental health. Dr. Salvador, Buddy Atienza, Dr. Abby Giel, and their highly qualified team of professionals will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan specifically designed to address your unique needs. Nothing exudes beauty and confidence like a bright, vibrant smile. And at Smiles on Main, we believe that everyone deserves to experience life-altering benefits of a radiant, healthy smile. Smiles on Main is located at 119 South Main Street, Suite 1 in Makoka, Iowa. Schedule an appointment with Smiles on Main at 563-652-4133. If you're looking for an old school cut, then Dan's Barbershop is just what you're looking for. No fancy frills, just a low cost cut with old time barbershop charm. Stop in and experience the social time that is lacking in this modern world. Dan's Barbershop is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Saturday, 7 a.m. to noon. Located at 301 North Main Street in Makoka, Iowa. And speaking of Saturdays, bring your cup of coffee and enjoy a free donut on Saturday morning as the main topic of conversation is usually centered around Makoka Athletics. Dan's Barbershop is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Dan says, let's go Cardinals! Fluff Lake Catfish Farm has been a Jackson County treasure for more than 50 years. Serving up all-you-can-eat specials Friday through Sunday in an out-of-the-way hidden gem located five minutes from Makokota Cave State Park. Friday is an 18-ounce prime rib or all-you-can-eat catfish. Saturday is all-you-can-eat haddock. And Sunday, all the shrimp and fried chicken you can handle. Open Friday 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., Saturday 3 p.m. to 9 p.m., and Sunday 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. They are closed Monday through Thursday and the entire month of December. Buff Lake Catfish Farm will give you an experience that you will have you telling stories about for years to come. Don't forget to feed the ducks and the fish and check out the gift shop and the awesome waterfall. All at Buff Lake Catfish Farm, 9301 95th Avenue in Makoka.
Looking for an eye care? At Highway 61 Dry Cleaners, their staff is excited about the name change and they would like to thank all of their loyal customers over the past seven years. For a professional clean to keep you looking your best, it's Highway 61 Dry Cleaners in Makokoda. Whether you need your favorite suit, dress, leather items, pillow clean, or alterations done, Highway 61 Dry Cleaners can complete the job. Convenient drop-off locations now include the Classy Closet in Bellevue, the Family Tree in DeWitt, Anderson Pharmacy of Preston, and Holly Supermarket in Wyoming. Need a tux? Highway 61 Dry Cleaners now offers tuxedo rentals. Their professional staff can match your specific color needs while saving you several trips out of town. So for exceptional service and convenience, stop by and see them at Highway 61 Dry Cleaners, 108 South Jones Avenue in Makokoda, or call them at 563-652-3641.
Smiles on Main, a distinguished dental care provider, conveniently located in Makokota, Iowa. At Smiles on Main, we have a special interest in your dental health. Dr. Salvador, Buddy Atienza, Dr. Abby Giel, and their highly qualified team of professionals will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan specifically designed to address your unique needs. Nothing exudes beauty and confidence like a bright, vibrant smile. And at Smiles on Main, we believe that everyone deserves to experience life-altering benefits of a radiant, healthy smile. Smiles on Main is located at 119 South Main Street, Suite 1 in Makoka, Iowa. Schedule an appointment with Smiles on Main at 563-652-4133.
Bluff Lake Catfish Farm has been a Jackson County treasure for more than 50 years, serving up all-you-can-eat specials Friday through Sunday in an out-of-the-way hidden gem located five minutes from Makokota Cave State Park. Friday is an 18-ounce prime rib or all-you-can-eat catfish, Saturday's all-you-can-eat haddock, and Sunday all the shrimp and fried chicken you can handle. Open Friday 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., Saturday 3 p.m. to 9 p.m., and Sunday 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. They are closed Monday through Thursday and the entire month of December. Bluff Lake Catfish Farm will give you an experience that you will have you telling stories about for years to come. Don't forget to feed the ducks and the fish and check out the gift shop at the... Smiles on Main, a distinguished dental care provider, conveniently located in Makokota, Iowa. At Smiles on Main, we have a special interest in your dental health. Dr. Salvador, Buddy Atienza, Dr. Abby Giel, and their highly qualified team of professionals will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan specifically designed to address your unique needs. Nothing exudes beauty and confidence like a bright, vibrant smile. And at Smiles on Main, we believe that everyone deserves to experience life-altering benefits of a radiant, healthy smile. Smiles on Main is located at 119 South Main Street, Suite 1 in Makoka, Iowa. Schedule an appointment with Smiles on Main at 563-652-4133.
Smiles on Main, a distinguished dental care provider, conveniently located in Makokota, Iowa. At Smiles on Main, we have a special interest in your dental health. Dr. Salvador, Buddy Atienza, Dr. Abby Gill, and their highly qualified team of professionals will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan specifically designed to address your unique needs. Nothing exudes beauty and confidence like a bright, vibrant smile. And at Smiles on Main, we believe that everyone deserves to experience life-altering benefits of a radiant, healthy smile. Smiles on Main is located at 119 South Main Street, Suite 1 in Maquoketa, Iowa. Schedule an appointment with Smiles on Main at 563-652-4133. Looking for an eye care professional that is committed to your vision health and is fully involved in the local area? Then C. Bisma Eye and Vision Center is the full service vision specialist for you. They offer comprehensive exams, contact and lens services, and more importantly, C. Bisma Eye and Vision Center treats infections, removal of foreign bodies, and is able to treat diseases of the eye. They have glasses that meet all budgets and look forward to helping you with your vision needs. Contact them through their website at cbismaeyecare.com or call their office at 563-652-2795 to schedule an appointment and take care of your vision needs at Cebisma Eye and Vision Center of Makokota. Cebisma Eye and Vision Center is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Makokota Cardinal Athletics. Dylan. Sophomore game. Let's say Mitchell Raider probably. Yeah, Raider had a good game. Um, thought the Erie kid played pretty well too. So we'll go Erie is the Brad Deary Ford player of the game. And Mitchell Raider is the Brad Deary Motors <coughs> player of the game in the sophomore game. And what about varsity game? Who you got? <sighs> I. Brady Digman, I, I I think far and away uh, uh, outdid my expectations of what I thought would be in his first first. He start by a, a wide stretch. Yeah, and I'd say you have to go with Caden Atenza yeah. or or, uh, or Clayton. Clayton, uh, yeah, Clayton uh, had a good night. He, he had it rough early. I mean, he got looks. He just yeah. couldn't get the knockdown. But as soon as he got one to go down, it it, it started to come for him and. Uh, he walked out here with 16 points. Caden it, it, had a good night. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to stay on the court due to some kind of some three iffy calls against him that kind of left you shaking your head. Um, kind of took him out of the game, really. Yeah, I agree. Um, so the Cardinals were over to be able to overcome that. Um, uh, Mitch, Mitchell Raider came in and knocked down a couple of threes that were big, uh, big time uh, for him. Um, and then with about a less less than a minute to go, Cannon Coakley with the lay, that layup and getting fouled uh, was kind of huge uh, to pretty much put a stick in the momentum that Vinton had. Yeah, we're, and we're going to be the type of team this year I think that's going to need different players to step up at different times and, and do some of those things. So it's good that you had a lot of guys get a lot of minutes tonight. And what do we go, nine or ten deep probably? Uh, we went Daniel Coyle, Emmett Sheets got a little bit of time, but mm. mainly it was uh, 
the starting five and Cannon and Mitchell off the bench for the most part. So seven, which that's that's a Matt Hartman thing. He, yeah. he Grant, by Grant, the, Grant Mickle had quite a few oh, minutes yeah, in the I forgot, first half. Yeah, Grant Mickle did too. I, I forgot so about that. Eight, and then you had Emmett and Daniel Coyle. Daniel Coyle. So ten. We got ten deep, I think. Uh, nine. And then, uh, you know, but that's a Matt Hartman staple. He, he likes to keep it no more than eight or nine. Uh, it was pretty much eight last year. Yeah. Um, but uh, all in all, a great night for the Cardinals, and it's good to get you know, start your season out with a win. And We'll take another quick break. We'll see if Matt comes out. He, he said he might, but uh, and we'll talk about the, the upcoming schedule, too, when we come back on MCSN. If you're looking for an old school cut, then Dan's Barbershop is just what you're looking for. No fancy frills, just a low cost cut with old time barbershop charm. Stop in and experience the social time that is lacking in this modern world. Dan's Barbershop is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Saturday, 7 a.m. to noon. Located at 301 North Main Street in Makoka, Iowa. And speaking of Saturdays, Bring your cup of coffee and enjoy a free donut on Saturday morning as the main topic of conversation is usually centered around Makoka Athletics. Dan's Barbershop is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Dan says, let's go Cardinals! Dale Scott along with Chad Coakley to wrap things up and Cardinals victorious tonight. Coming up uh, Thursday night, Chad, we're going to Mount Mercy to play at the college. Uh, yeah. Boys will be playing in Independence. It'll be considered an Independence home game. They kind of set that up. Here comes Matt now. Um, we'll have those games on MCSN. Been told we can go live video for that, but I've yet to get confirmation on the on the internet service there. So that'll be hit or miss. Um, and then Friday we'll have the girls at home against Independence on MCSN. And joined now by head coach Matt Hartman and. Matt, it wasn't pretty at times, but you're one to know. We'll take it. We'll take it. I think the I think and I'm gonna be up front with this. It took me a quarter, about a quarter and a half to stop calling Brady Hartman. <laughs> but I finally got Digman down, but I, he was one of our MCSN Brad Deary Motors players of the game, just considering the fact his first varsity start, and he, he really impressed me the effort that he put out tonight and able to calmly knock down a lot of threes. Yeah, he he, uh, he, he put some time in this offseason. He dedicated himself to get better, and I'm glad he had a big night tonight because he had all that hard work, and it's nice to see kids get rewarded when they work hard. Now, Caden Atienza had a, kind of an up-and-down night. He, he had some big – I didn't know he had the three-pointer in his arsenal. He learned something from them boys last year, huh? He's had it. He just hasn't been had the confidence, and now he's stepping into a leadership role, and – and the confidence is there, and I expect him to have a huge year. He kind of got taken out, not by Vinton, but by about two or three really iffy calls against him that led to a foul out early. But uh, yeah, it's you know that's that's kind of been his bugaboo as a varsity basketball player. Is he can't stay out of foul trouble, and we've been talking about how important it is he stays out of foul trouble and, and how much he means to our team. Um, and, and it's something we got to get back, get better at as coaches, keeping him out of those situations. And uh, also, Clayton Widell uh, chipped in 16 tonight and ha had a rough go early on. Looks like you were trying to get him involved right away. Wasn't getting it to fall, but once it did start to fall, then he found his stride. Yeah, I, th I think with Clayton, he just he doesn't understand his strengths sometimes. He tries playing to, to show us that he can do stuff, that he, he wants to score so bad, and, and he wants it so bad, and he's such a team player. He's such a good kid that um, he, it's, it's almost a fault that he just, you just do what you do well. Just be you, Clayton. And, and he got back to that in the second half, doing what he wanted to do and establishing great position, working before he caught it, and, and he was rewarded. Now, as a coach, I know there's, you can come out with a win. It's always nice to start out the season with a win, but I'm sure you, you, you've seen a few things out there that need to be worked on. Well, what, what's the top of that list so far you see just off the top of your head? I, I think right, something that we can fix tonight is execution. We, we didn't execute 
any of our sets, any of our out of bounds, any of our offense, our defensive game plan. We just we lost our poise too much, and um, that's something that I'm really going to focus on tomorrow in practice. Is we, we need to execute our stuff. You need to know what we're doing. Um, we don't have much in right now. There's you need to know what we're doing. And if you can't, you see tonight we get exposed in certain spots when people don't know what's going on, and um, it leads to bad things. Well, be a short turn on one practice, and then Thursday night you're at Mount Mercy playing Independence. Uh, have you scouted them at all yet, or are you just going to wait till tomorrow? I'll jog it after tonight, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I, th right. I think the big question was, you know, you watched the sophomore game, and at halftime there was uh, some sixth graders and, and younger out there playing. And one little kid, uh, Jordan Jordan Hartman, I don't know if he's any relation or not, shot, drained it, and he did he did this. He kept his hand in the air, you know, and then he pointed at Dad's banner at the end of the gym. And is that something you teach him? He gets that from his mother. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the old uh, Matt Hartman. I told him people that make their first shot, they do that. <laughs> I mean, if you're surprised you make a shot, that's what you do. You got to act like you've been there before. <laughs> And that was fun watching the young kids out there, It was, too. and I was glad they got to get out. They really enjoyed it. They did, it was, yeah. It was awesome. Neat yeah, experience for them. Fun night of basketball. It was. Um, you know, give our kids credit. We didn't we didn't play particularly well, um, but throughout the night from the first quarter to the fourth quarter, I thought our kids taught themselves how to compete, how to yeah. come out of their shell a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, think, I think at the end of the first half, I think uh, when well, Chris was up here, he had to leave a little early, but I, I my first thought was it's 28-24 at the half, and we're down four, but – from what I've seen, I'm kind of feeling good about only being down four. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Um, we, we did not play a good first half at all. Um, and it was frustrating from our coaches' point of view because we've had we, – I mean, we've spent all this time focusing on us. We didn't really talk much about Vince Shellsburg. And also, we come on, we can't do what we wanted to do. And, um, you know, we told the kids, hey, we just got to regroup. The game's not out of reach. Let's do what we do. Let's be us and let's execute our stuff and we'll be all right. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Matt. Thank you. I know you avoid me like the plague when doing do. these things. but <laughs> Good thing Chad was here. I wasn't coming. <laughs> well, that's okay because I'm, I'll be concentrating more on the girls here after oh, Thursday I see, night. I see how it is. Well, you you want to you want to give me the cold shoulder, I'll give you a cold shoulder right back. I'll go watch the girls. All I, all I hear in these is how much you, how much Coach Depke and you relate. I, I, I don't want to interfere. I feel like a third wheel. <laughs> no. Oh. You, you and Chad need to work out a deal to where you guys can tape a show so you can play it like I do for the girls games now. I'll put Kai in charge of that. Meanwhile, I want to pass this on to speaking of Depke and the girls. They did win tonight 54-48 over in Vinton, so they're 3-0 awesome. and on the season. Congrats to the girls. So the boys here on MCSN at Mount Mercy. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Um, Thursday night will be at Mount Mercy against Independence. Girls will be at home against Independence on Friday night. We'll have all of it on MCSN. Chad, any last words before we pack up because the gym's getting real No, empty. we better get out of here. Just thanks for listening, and uh, we'll be back Thursday. All right, for Chad Coakley, I'm Dale Scott. Thanks for tuning in to another night at MCSN, Wakoka to Cardinal Basketball.